welcome to Street Beat. I'm your host, April Moss. With the never-ending war turmoil happening across the world, more than a million refugees fled their homes, taking dangerous routes to find a safer place to live. This has created a crisis as countries struggle to cope with the influx of people. Samaritas is a nonprofit organization that offers resettlement services to refugees here in Michigan. I'd like to welcome Vicki Thompson-Sandy, president of Samaritas, and Mihaela Mitrofan, their program manager for New Americans. Welcome to Street Beat. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, tell us about what Samaritas is. Sure, Samaritas is a not-for-profit organization that's headquartered in the city of Detroit, uh, but we serve the lower peninsula of Michigan. Uh, we have approximately 70 programs um, across the lower peninsula, New American being one of those, but we also serve seniors and children and persons with disabilities. And what services do you provide? To refugees, mm -hmm. we provide services, um, resettlement services, okay. um, employment services. We uh, provide behavioral health services and support to help them reach self-sufficiency and to integrate them into community. And how do they find Samaritas when they come, when they come here, when they arrive? Mm -hmm. So refugees are uh, referred to Samaritas through uh, contracts uh, overseas uh, and also the Department of State is involved in the processing of refugees and uh, through our partnership with our national partner LRS, which is Lutheran Immigration Refugee Services. Okay. What exactly qualifies someone as a refugee? A refugee can be anyone who is uh, experiencing persecution, violence, um, or um, goes through natural situations of natural disaster. A refugee is someone who has a well-founded fear of persecution uh, for their uh, nationality, religion, um, membership to a particular social group, or uh, political opinion. And from what points around the globe are you finding that refugees are coming to America? America resettles currently refugees from uh, various countries. Um, a high number of refugees are being resettled from Africa, Central or East Africa, including countries as Eritrea, Ethiopia, South Sudan, Congo, mm -hmm. um, as well as uh, individuals from uh, the Middle East, Iraq, Syria, and also Ukraine. Okay. Now, with the recent reduction in the amount of refugees that America is receiving, how has this affected uh, your admissions? Sure. So we are seeing a drastic decrease in the number of refugees that are arriving in Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, Samaritas is the fourth largest refugee resettlement um, entity across the nation. Okay. And so in Southeast Michigan specifically, we um, are projecting about 36 to 40 refugees this year. Okay. In the past, we've um, resettled thousands in a, in a year. So this is a very sharp decrease in what you are seeing. And why is it in America's national interest to resettle these refugees? Sure. Refugees offer a lot to our communities. Um, we believe that this is um, an economic issue for Michigan as well as the United States. At not, right now in Michigan, we're enjoying low unemployment, mm -hmm. um, unlike what we have in the last uh, few years. Mm -hmm. um, but we need people in Michigan to um, help support our economy. Um, it is a well-known fact through research um, our partnership with Global Detroit um, that demonstrate that when refugees arrive in community, uh, there's an economic um, benefit to that community. Um, Southeast Michigan had about a $300 million impact, positive impact from refugees. Um, where exactly in the Lower Peninsula are the majority of the refugees resettling right now? Is it, does it vary across the different counties or is there a specific area where they're... Sure, so Maritas, um, our programming is uh, focused on Southeast Michigan mm -hmm. and West Michigan. Okay. Um, it is um, common for refugee resettlement agencies to uh, find a community that already exists sure. and to build upon a known community when refugees are resettled. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the, the northern suburbs of uh, the Southeast Michigan, you know, we know Dearborn, mm -hmm. and that area, Grand Rapids, Battle Creek. Okay. And how long can they stay in this program where you're helping them to get on their feet? Um, is there a time frame? 
Yeah, our programs have different time frames uh, based on the focus of that specific grant uh, or funding source. Um, the refugee resettlement program has a very short time frame where a lot is expected from incoming refugees, and that is uh, 90 days uh, okay. in which they need to um, access services available to them. We connect them with uh, school enrollment, uh, employment opportunities, English language classes, cultural orientation. Um, so it is the framework that sets them for, um, for self-sufficiency and integration. Other programs have a little bit longer time frame, about six months or even longer. And just really quick, what can you tell me about um, what happens to the refugees after they're resettled typically? Sure. So refugees, once their immediate needs are met, they focus on accessing employment, mm -hmm. accessing uh, education. Mm -hmm. um, they spend a lot of focus on having their children enrolled in schools and um, gaining their knowledge of English language. Um, Many of them are looking at entrepreneurial uh, opportunities, developing businesses, um, and so forth. Thank you so much for being on the show and shedding the light on what Samaritas is doing here in Southeast Michigan, and we appreciate the work that you're doing as well. For more information on how you can volunteer and get connected, visit Samaritas.org.